They say you should never give up on your dreams. But what if you should? What if your dreams are just too big and you are too small? A tiny, insignificant speck of carbon floating in a cruel, unforgiving universe. No. The universe doesn't care about your dreams. In a flash of light, in the blink of an eye, it will wipe its ass with your destiny. But if you learn to accept this, to laugh at God instead of cursing him, then maybe, just maybe, you stand a chance of becoming a pretty decent clown. Weird. Where is everybody? And you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, if you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy, bear with me, and you know it's that. Ah, you know it, don't you? You're going to be able to finish that, or was it Red Leicester? What is that? Bobo. I thought we were clear. We're gonna go another way with this. Yes. I heard you. You said I was depressing the children. That's why I brought back the happy dance. Look, we've had a great run, but we're gonna give Nathan a go this time. He does close-up magic and far away magic. A fucking one-stroker. My act works. I've been doing it 25 years. It's the kids that have changed. I don't appreciate the classics anymore. They just want to get jacked up on energy drinks and watch Serbian pornography. Don't think these kids are watching ah, Serbian. Asian shit, foot stuff, whatever. If you want to give my job to a fucking hat fister, then fine. Fuck you. And fuck him. And fuck this gig. And fuck all these joyless little pricks. Because I quit. OK. Oh, we take one of these jellies as well. Thank you. Mm. That was methadone. Yeah, I knew that. What? Right. Let's introduce you. Good morning, Ireland. You're listening to 93.5 with Big Roy and the animal. Extreme weather conditions in Bolivia have baffled climatologists who fear electromagnetic. <laughs> Garth Brooks live this Saturday in Croke Park, Dublin. Extra tickets. <laughs> I saw what happened. She definitely tried to snatch your kid. Fuck you, Alan! Just give me a shot on the strip! I've done my time! The strip's for artists, Funzo. You're scaring away the clients. Do you want to dance with me, Alan? Uh, do you want to dance? Is this clown bothering you, Alan? Okay. Before we begin, there are three basic truths you must accept. One, God is dead. Two, laughter is the only sane response to a meaningless existence. Three, if you are going to do a tumble, <coughs> make sure you land on the meat of your buttocks. 
or you will really damage your ass bone. <laughs> you, why are you here? I just love kids, I guess. Making them laugh, you know? Bit rude one, isn't it? <laughs> Making children laugh. Ah, we have an avant-gardist in our midst. Let us marvel at his singular genius. Mr. Decock, I am Pepe, and this is my interpretation of the classic mime, Trapped in a Box. Oh, that's a wall. Oh. And another one. Oh, not this again. Oh, uh, Julian, Julian, are you still out there? I better call Barbara. Hello, may I speak to Barbara, please? Barbara, hi, it's Pepe. Listen, a bit of an embarrassing one for you, Barbara. Do you know that box I've got at the end of my garden? Enough! This is the worst performance I have ever seen. Oh, sir, maybe you didn't understand there. I wasn't actually trapped in a box. I was just pretending. <laughs> a true clown never pretends. He simply bees. But I am a true clown. I just need some training. If I taught a duck to wear a hat and a little suit and go to an office every day with a tiny briefcase, would that make him a businessman? Well, if he tried really hard and, and read all the books and what, really believed in his dreams, then yes, yes, I know that duck could become a businessman. Silence! You will never be a true clown! Mr. the Cook! Mr. de Cook! They say comedy equals tragedy plus time. Well, unfortunately, time was up for the man that some people called the last great clown, Jean Ducoq. And joining me to discuss his legacy is, well, a, a bit of a blast from the TV past, the amazing Alfonso. It's the great, it's the great Alfonso. So, Ducoq was, I suppose, some kind of a, a hero to you. Well, I think indeed. And uh, I to him, unlike many of the other so-called stars of the time he was not a jealous clown for instance when uh, alfonso's fun club gave the nation's yeah. highest rated kids tv show in 1993 oh, I, I think i remember that show and uh, then again in 1994 wasn't it cancelled due to some kind of a, a freak gunge tank accident yeah it was there were no formal charges <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think Ducock would be delighted to hear the announcement of my comeback show this Saturday at the National Concert Hall. Saturday? Isn't that the same night as Garth Brooks Stadium show? Because that's where I'll be. Oh, fucking hack. Why are you watching this? You got nothing to smile for! Peacock! Why are you smiling? Piece of shit! Susie, I'm not going live without a second source. No, no, I never said it was off the record. He's not going to wrap up this story. You've got 20 minutes. Wow, it only took you three days. You know you get paid by the word. Look, Edith, I think I've got a real story here. What do you know about solar flares? I know I don't care about them. 
I've been tracking some serious meteorological anomalies over the past few months. NASA, the European Space Agency, the SWPC, all warning of a potentially major event. All right, listen, Jenny. I know what you're going to say, Edith, but journalism is in my blood. You've got a thoroughbred horse here, and you've got me giving pony rides around the garden. I can sleep standing up. I can shit while I gallop. Stop wasting me on these bullshit celebrity puff pieces, and let me feel the wind in my mane. All right, uh... As it happens, I, I do have a story for you. Out in the field, something tailored to your particular expertise. A clown funeral. <laughs> a clown funeral! How fucked up is that? <laughs> Who wouldn't click through? But I thought you wanted me for my expertise. I do. You d didn't you fuck a clown? Sorry, did I get that wrong? <laughs> Jenny Malone fucked a clown. Right? This Jenny? She fucked a clown? Yeah, she's a clown fucker. Can we all stop calling me that, please? I just hooked up with a guy at a party. Was it a children's party? Ah, fuck you, Susie. Journalists are talking. Look, no one else here knows a goddamn thing about clowns, so do you want this job or not? I'll do it. Someday, I'm going to do some real reporting. And I'm going to show you. You judgmental bitch. Are you talking to me or your dead mother? Dead mother. Jenny here. Jenny. Yeah. Five foot four. Medium hair. The most beautiful woman in the world. We do have a Jenny, but she's kind of plain. I can take a message. Um. Could you tell her every time I see a sunset, the wind shouts her name? So actually, it's weird, man. I still rub it in the air. Could you just say what up? What up? You just want me to say what up? Yeah, but keep it keep it casual, like you're really busy. It's no big deal. So what up? What up? Not like that, but what up? Like that. Keep it mean. Okay. Uh, uh what was your name? Uh, Bobo. Bobo, as in Bobo the clown. <laughs> wow. You know, I don't know where she is right now, uh, but I can tell you where she'll be tomorrow morning. Please. Oh, fuck me. Wow! Baby girl! Of course you're here. Wow! You look spectacular. What are the chances? Oh. Yeah, so I'm good. Finally got out of the clown game. At last. Long time coming. Uh, I just need to change, you know. I've been reading a lot of fitness magazines. Hey. How you doing? Bye bye. Nice to meet you. So you a couple, or what's the coup? What? No. Oh, sorry, you seem lovely. What, are you single? Um. We should go out sometime. I know this great little Italian, 
And he's got a fantastic hot dog stand. So. Bobo, I'm working. Leave me alone. Oh, yeah. Nice. Sorry to cop block you there, mate, but me and her have got history. And a future, by the looks of it. So you can flash all the cash you want, but you ain't impressing anyone, mate. Okay. That's where I keep the big dick I used to poke your mom. Anyway, that's why I don't play orphanages anymore. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, uh, thank you. Monsieur de Coq was like a father to me. I suppose now it's fallen upon me to honor his legacy. Big shoes to fill. You're right. I should take his shoes. Fuck me. So, uh, this guy, he must have been a pretty big deal, right? He's a cock. Mm. Yeah. Guess. Mm. Excuse me. Ah, just my musket. This is real who's who, huh? Hey, how you doing? Friends, the pain and grief we are all feeling, there are no words. But where words fail us, there is always mine. What are we looking at? I'm trapped in a box while screaming. That's not outrage. <laughs> okay, the other hand isn't helping. A fitting tribute, I think we'd all agree. <laughs> but first. Let me tell you how great it is to see the nation's entire clowning community in such rude health. Adieu, monsieur. But enough about the past. As you all know, I myself am back on top, gearing up for my enormous comeback show tomorrow night. But I need a support act. Well, if you do... Not you. Not that. Now, wait a minute. Where's Boinky? Doing a master's. Hmm. Giggles? Trampled by a horse. Oh, probably for the best. Um, what about you? Uh, are you a clown? I mean, the makeup says clown, but the hair... I'm a journalist. Thank you very much. Oh, perfect. I'll give you 20 minutes after this. Then we can do the interview, eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, then we'll have to audition. Everyone out to the car park, I'll give you five minutes each. Glory awaits. Hmm? I just want Bonzo. <laughs> if you want me, you're gonna have to take on all of us. You fucked up now, Alan. Right, guys? Who are you? Who's Alan? You owe me an ear, Fonzo. You take liberty. Leave Alan to me. Take them where? To hell. Come on. This is a violation of my journalistic rights. You might as well curl off a hot one right in the Geneva Convention. Manta, fuck your I want to be in her cell. I want to be in that cell. Was that a tooth? Yeah, but it's not mine.
Do you think maybe she's gone scary? So, what should we call our clown troop slash fight club? I'm not a clown. And I am not forming a troop with you. I trained under the late Jean Ducoq. You look like a tramp who lost a paintball. I'm a street clown. Street clown? <laughs> what is that? That doesn't even mean anything. It means I learned my shit on the streets, not some fancy school with a roof on it. It means a clown for anyone, any place, any time. Down an alley, under a bridge, outside people's windows at night. I'll clown for you right now. Without so much as a warm-up, are you insane? What? Never seen a neck trap piece before? Oh, well, that answers that. What did you say, Duke Ackman? You know what I said, you little lunatic. You want to put a fall in jeopardy if you carry on. Oh, you want to do something about anything, you know? This whole argument is pointless. Face it, the world doesn't need clowns anymore. Hmm. We're fax machines. We're travel agents. We're obsolete. Hanzo, what have you done? Let them out, please. We could, but then we'd also be letting out all the rats. What rats? The set of rats I threw in there. You gotta get this one, You gotta sleep with one eye open! It's cool. I already do. You never outrun a fucko! You can't escape! Oh my god, that's one of my balls! That's one of my balls! Weird. Where is everybody? My phone's dead. So's my beeper. So are my parents. But I had nothing to do with that. So when that thing comes back to life, how about you give me your number? And we go for that fantastic hot dog. Bobo, there's not gonna be a hot dog. Oh. So you wanna get right down to it like last time, do you? Last time was a mistake. A sweaty, sweaty mistake, and I've regretted it ever since. You sure it's still in there? How could they leave them? Dropped in a box. The irony. Damn it! The scimitar won't let me enter her. You, journalist, I've got a show to do, so I'm going to have to drive you in your car. I can give you that interview you're asking for. Nothing electrical is working. Oh, shit, really? What do you say, friend? Uh, can you give us a lift? There is no way I'm giving a lift to a talentless has been, a homeless psychopath, and the woman who broke my. Look, I've got a big show tonight, and there's a juicy support slot, which I'm willing to dangle over the muzzle of any slobbering clown willing to do me a solid. I can do you a solid. 
How solid would you need? You know we've met before, right? We both came over here to audition for the same TV show, and I spent every penny I had on that ferry. And he saw me rehearse backstage and stole my act. At the career. It should have been mine. Oh, what we got here? Oh, look, it's your whole act. Look, Boo Boo, is it? Have you any idea how many lesser clowns have accused me of stealing their shitty material over the years? It's not my fault you couldn't make it on the big boy stage. But if you did want to make a genuine contribution to our illustrious art form, then the best thing you can do is drive me to Dublin so that I can do my show. Fuck the art form. Clowning is as dead to me as that boy band who drowned in your gunch tank. There was only one of them. Ah, there were no formal charges. Bobo? Bobo? What? I'm sorry about what I said back there. I don't actually want you to die. Well, you didn't say that. Exactly. Listen, there's something big going on here, and I think I know what it is. And if I'm right, it's bigger than all of us. Now, we need to put our differences aside and get back home as soon as possible so I can write this story. I need this, Bobo. I need you. Is that... Is that a picture of me on your dashboard? Fine. Oi. We'll park this beef because I don't mind being the bigger man. No, you don't have to do that. I'll be the bigger man. No, 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 no. I insist. Let me be bigger. It's cool. I'm already bigger, so it's just easier if we think of me as being the bigger man. Great. Now, how are we going to fit five of us in this thing? Uh, make that six. on fire? <laughs> I mean, it makes no sense. Can you please stop critiquing my childhood dreams? I mean, the clown on the bottom would need to be built like a garden shed. The one on the top would have to be insane. I mean, certifiably, clinically insane. And as for the one in the middle, well, this clown would have to be so still, it was as if he were frozen solid. But above all that, these three would have to be willing to die for one another. You ever met a clown you die for? <laughs> Stop the car! Take us with you the car! Hey, come on! Just one fucking text message, anything. What's happening to everybody? Come back, you bastard! That's Quilton! That's Fourfly! I need that! Come back, you... Come back! Wait, stop the car. Maybe there's someone there. Oh, good call, Jennifer. I can eat a horse's ass. Jennifer, I'll have a uh, tall latte, the, the mixed grill, and uh, some tree ball triple X mints, please. Get it yourself, you boiled gammon. Oh. Look, I, I, I don't mean to pry, but does anyone ever tell you you remind them of a certain Stephen King novel? <laughs> What's a Stephen King novel? Right. Um, have you seen it? What? It, it, have you seen it? Have I seen what? It, it, fuck, it, it's a film, it. Oh, yes, I've seen a film. I've seen, um, Babe, Pig in the City Changed My Life. <laughs> yeah, right, well, it's, it's like Babe, except, um, instead of a pig, it's a clown. And instead of really wanting to herd sheep, 
he really wants to murder children. Gore. What was that? There is nothing left to steal. Just move on, and you come to no harm. Stay calm. I am a journalist, a good one. Need this to me, Jennifer. I know how to speak to perverts. Listen, by all means, have me a filthy way with him, but let the rest of us go. Oh, my God. You're... You're... You're bleeding slightly. It's nothing. No, I think, I think it's, um... I, I think it's something serious. We should, we should take your shirt off right now. Listen to the man, Jenny. There's nothing for us to steal. Let's go, please. So you're a journalist? Written all over my face, huh? No. It was literally the first thing you said. Yeah, okay. Um, what happened here? The flash in the sky. Everything stopped working. Sent people insane. They look like animals. Fighting over snack boxes and condiments. And then you ran out of supplies. They turned on each other. Son, I knew it. Working nights in a burger trailer in the Midlands of Ireland. I thought I have seen the lowest humanity could sink. But this. A few hours without Wi Fi and civilization has crumbled. What fresh hell is this? I could never forgive myself. Get in the clown car. I don't want to. Get in the clown car! No, 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 no. A flat-chested virgin. Well, fuck you, huh? Look at me now. Calm down and focus on me. Now, if we can just get on the road, you'll have me back in time for my sound check, yes? Didn't you hear what I said? I think about being a virgin. Why don't you show some respect? The lady is definitely not a virgin. Oh, shut up, Bobo. Look, the country, the whole country, maybe the world has gone dark. A solar flare of this magnitude will have blown out power grids, comms, satellites. So, no TV, no internet, no sound check, no Serbian pornography. Anything wireless, anything digital, anything with a computer in it, basically, is as dead as the clown on the roof of this car. Do that anymore. The world is ours now. So, uh, what's our shtick? Huh? Good clown, bad clown. Maybe we both got bad clown. Fuck with that. Just be. leave them alone, yeah? <laughs> it's called street clowning. Wash and learn. Hey, kids! I don't feel very well. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Wow. Okay, I think I'm good. Who are you to approach our younglings at eventide? 
painted fool. Oh, well, we were just... We mean your children no harm, Crone. We are but weary travelers seeking to lay our master to rest. You're from the townlands? Yes, ugly wench. What remains of them? We hear tell of a... a great doom. Indeed. A great darkness has embraced our kingdom. Come. The cloud fire is low. You must be hungry. What in God's name is going on? I think she's gonna make us a feast. Oh, fine. <laughs> Our survival has been hard, one. This fellowship relies on the ancient wisdom of our ancestors. From the before times. Yesterday. Now we grow dust root and gelp wart. Hail, fellow chieftain. Hey. Sorry about Siobhan. She's really fucking high. <laughs> I'm Fintan. And you must be... clown? Nope. Not for me. Retired from all that bollocks. I still need movement myself, actually. Come, chill with us. Stay for the night. Come on, Siobhan, we get you a glass of water. What is this place? We call it... Xanadu. It's a boutique microfestival. Chill beats, ethical street food, vibes for days. Or at least it was, before the power cut. Now we're castaways. All our priests are dead. We've had to ration our food, collect rainwater. We still have a veritable cornucopia of Class A drugs. <laughs> mm, drugs, you say? Well, maybe this evening doesn't need to be a total loss. You know, Angus Deaton used to come with a Dyson. Here we are. Lodgings for the night. Real Himalayan vibes. I hope you don't mind sharing tents. Oh, well, that's fine. How about, uh, me and Jenny take this one, and the lesser males share with the Fonzo. Sounds good. Come on, let me show you my salt lamp. Wait. Better word, my lads and Huh? Look, we're both half a clouds. I get it, I get it, I get it. Rival silverbacks. Two little walruses sticking up the beach with our battle musk. But I want to save you some embarrassment here, buddy. Jenny is off the menu. If we're both walruses, boom, boom, I think it's pretty clear who the beach master is. Because when you're the fattest thing on the sand, you don't have to steal anything. It all just comes waddling towards you. I believe this thing actually works. The kids will watch anything with the screen. That's live. But how is he broadcasting? He must have an analog OB transmitter or. You have to hear me. This isn't over, people. Christ, is that Tim? How did that Charlatan get on the TV? You know that man? That's Tim from Bromans. He and his brother were in a hot boy band. Bromans. Brothers, but also men. Spelled with a Z because it was the 90s. He moved into a fallout bunker and became a recluse. We used to party with the Lighthouse family back in the good old days. You know where he lives? I need to meet him, find out what he knows. Oh, he'll never talk. And neither will the Lighthouse family. About the solar flare, you idiot. Maybe he can shed some light on what's going on. He could be the key to my story. Maybe. How come you know so much about transmitters? I actually grew up in a broadcast van. My mother would just leave me there for hours at a time with a bowl of water and a the window slightly open. Well then, I think perhaps, Jennifer, you and I should pay Tim from Bromance a little visit. Sorry to tell you this. Shh. Word has reached me from Dublin. It was just as I predicted. Society has collapsed. There's looting, there's killing, there's rioting on the streets. People have turned against one another. The government are doing nothing. Well, I'm responsible. This just then. Garth Brooks is dead. <gasps> Fuck. Dublin has fallen! Oh, my children. Do something. 
So lads, I'm being honest, it's hard to know what tomorrow's gonna bring, but we still have tonight, right? And while we might be running low on hope, we still have a pretty decent supply of some other essentials, if you know what I mean. So let's all raise the glass and let the world know that we're absolutely sending it tonight. Yes. 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 This is our boutique festival. Yeah! We're not afraid! Yeah. Hard to say, but if I had to estimate a street value, I'd say about three, four hundred quid. <coughs> Buffoon. I will. You'll be in perilous chaise with the masters. In a proper grave. Dug by a professional. You will never be a true clown. No. Clowning legends. Oh, I thought you were done with clowning. No, the world was done with clowning. It moved on to TikTok dances and live streaming hand jobs on the dark web. Ah. But none of that works now. Everything is obsolete except us. This is our moment. Can't you see? This is our opportunity to clown like the masters before us. Mm. Rimaldi. Mm. Golly. McDonald. No, not McDonald. Dukak. Dukak. Okay, we're forming a troop. Oh, no, we're yeah. just going to do this one trick, and then... I'm reasonably confident I don't have hepatitis anymore. Okay, well, I'm not touching that, so... Well, you don't touch it, you spread it on your asshole. Will you excuse us for one second, please? Sure. That clown has gone fully scary. Mm. And we both know there is no coming back from that. So, what should we call our troop? Renu, how about... Clown pedo. You know, like a torpedo of clowns. Look, this is a three clown trick. Are you in or not? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, stamp your footsies and wiggle your ears. 
for the silliest Billy around, the great Alfonso! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey, but where are the audience? Hello, audience! Hello, audience! Ah, I have an idea. You haven't had an original idea in your life, you skit-stealing fuck pike! Ah, there you are! <laughs> you will never be a true clown. Yeah, I might need to take a rain check on this show. It's just, um, oh, this is not really my, my crowd. But, um, uh, break a leg, guys. I am sure you're going to smash it. So. All right. Hey! We've come too far for you to us out now. This is our chance to win back the woman that I love and have our revenge on my nemesis, Alfonso. So what do you say, my friends? Hmm? Are we in this together? What? Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to sit this one out. Say the magic word! My second call, fellas. Oh, I hope I don't fall in this pie! This has started. Yeah, but I spiked this pie. With what? He spikes. <laughs> Shut up! So what we've got to do now is a trick, I know, so I hope you enjoy. Pepe, hop! Get out of the way! Pepe, I said hop! He's both of it. Time to go to plan B. Plan B? We've got plan B. Hi, everybody! Who wants to go? With laughter! I meant to say with laughter! Oh, and this was supposed to be a flower. Uh, who likes dancing? Yeah! Oh. Go! Right. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oi! Oi! If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Put the knife down, please. If you're happy and you know it, oh yeah, we want to show you. What happened? Where are we going? Paris, we're going to steal a yacht and take the car home. What? No, no, we have to go after Jenny. Why would you do that? Because Alfonso kidnapped her, you turquoise dick. Now turn around. Stop kicking us off. No, you're going to get Stop. killed. No, I'm going to get us killed. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it looks like we're walking. They can't have gone far. Well, you know, we can't just leave Monsieur here. Uh, we can, and we should, because he's starting to smell like a chef's ass. Right, which way's north? I think you're supposed to follow the sun. And are we following the sun, or are we following your dick? Jenny is in danger, and I need to rescue her from that fat nonce. Do you, though? I mean, they look pretty cozy on the back of that emotional support horse. Oh, yeah. Right, you two can either come with me and be heroes, or you can starve out here and end up like your hero. Fine. We'll follow the sun. Mm. But when we reach it, I am coming back for Dukak. This is just true banter. 
to right? Oh, we'd never split up, right? <sighs> Clampito is still dead. Tim from Bromans used to stagger back here drunk. Once a fortnight, God, I know this old place like the back of his head. <laughs> How are you so perky? Didn't you lose an eye? Oh, I, I took a handful of these. I don't know exactly what they are, but they're actually making me prefer having just the one eye. Tim from Bromans. As I live and breathe. You won't be doing either for long if you don't identify yourself. Jim, it's me, Alfonso. Fonzie Bear, the Fondler. I haven't seen you since the after, the party. after party. Who's your friend? Jenny Malone, viral load media. I'm a journalist. I wasn't there that evening. I left before nine. I swear to God, there was nothing going on that I knew about no, anyway. No, 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 Tim, no, it's not about that. Uh, Jennifer here has got a theory about what's happened to the world. And we think you could help us. Oh, oh hello. Oh, hello, Tucky. Hello, you're so cute as you are. Uh, <laughs> Can we come in? Uh, sure, that's a yes. Thank you. Uh, Shakira, come on. Poor thing's very sick. I've got her in heavy sedatives. She's been with me through it all. Fame, the fall. Years of people calling me a tinfoil hat wanker. She's all I've got now. <laughs> oh, Ro! Oh, dreadful pervert, of course. But by God, could that man draw a kangaroo? <laughs> Good girl, she can. We saw your broadcast. I didn't think it was reaching anyone. I know what's happening. It's a... Solar flare. Exactly. <laughs> Good old flex! You know, I was friends with all of the gladiators. Yes. All except for Pegasus. Let's just say I plowed his wife and that. Uh, well, leave it at that. Traitors, the bloody lot of them. How are we not prepared for this? The government must have known. Of course they knew. They've known for years. They wanted this to happen. But all of this, this is only the beginning. What I'm about to tell you goes deeper than you could possibly imagine. But before I start, does anyone want tea? Milk? It's UHT milk. Is that OK? Sugar. One. Two. One for you. Two for you. Bowl of milk. Do you know what? I'll just put everything on a tray and bring it out. You can make your own. This goes on and on. I can't take much more of this. I'm so hungry. Why aren't there any bistros? I'll give up. Ginny doesn't love me. She was on ecstasy. What the hell was I thinking? Hey, I know things look really bleak right now, but that's just because things are really bleak right now. It's time to face facts. I'm a terrible clown. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Oh, like you're any better. What good is all that training if you can't get on stage without browning your trousers? Lots of great artists struggled in their early years. Early years? How long are you going to be chasing this dream? Ten years. I'm going to chase the dream for 10 years, and then I'm just going to live the dream. Oh, cool. Didn't realize you had a plan. Yeah. That changes everything. It does, doesn't it? Just stick to your plan, believe in yourself, and never give up. 
That's what all the great clowns did. I mean, sure, there's millions of deluded people out there who believe in themselves and should give up. But I'm not one of them. I'm in that first category. That's something I've always known, deep in my heart. And your heart can't be wrong, can it? trained under him for three minutes, and I was so bad that he died. But you're such a pretentious wanker. I'm self-taught. It doesn't matter. We're not giving up. We're a troop. Aren't we? This is our time. You said it yourself. This isn't our time. I only said that because I needed your help to impress Jenny. The world doesn't need us. It never needed us. Be better for everyone if we all just sit down and quietly die. We are not all going to die. One of us will die and the other two will eat him. It's you, Pepe. Oh, there she is. Welcome back, it. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on, Fonzo. We all know what you are. Don't you say the S-word. Oh, don't, 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 don't say the S-word. Well, what else would you call a clown who asks children if they want to die? A trailblazer who lives on the edge? You live in a sewer! Where else was I gonna go, huh? Back to the sanitarium? I don't think so. Have you been listening to yourself? You are a walking Halloween costume. You are what children check for under their bed at night. Don't do it, Pepe. No! She needs to know! Funzo, you are a scary clown! I am not a fucking scary clown! <laughs> Yes, you are, but you don't scare me, you little bastard! Then let's settle this the clown way. <gasps> Last one to die wins. This one is not the clown way. Calm down. I'm going Calm to wear down. your skin as a cape. Set the table, Popo. Tonight we feast on Wussy Wussy Puss Puss. <laughs> They can roll out whatever protocols they want with zero resistance. We're like ducks <laughs> in a vice. Quack. It's all so obvious. They're gonna let society eat itself. We need to get this information out there before it's too late. I've been trying, but my transmitter won't reach more than 20 to 30 miles. So we need a mast, like 50 or 60 feet high. We could bring the truth to the whole country. I have a pretty big one, and as it happens, it's still erect. It's in here somewhere. Oh. Mm. Mm. Here she is. It's my big top. Now, it hasn't been used in years, but the main mast is still standing, proud and tall, like a penis. This is perfect, Tim. I rig your transmitter to this mast, and then you and me could present an emergency report. We could save lives. No. No, no. Shakira is very sick. I can't leave her. She's an indoor dog. She hasn't left here in 15 years, and neither have I. Tim, I need you to be brave. Oh. The people need you. Just like your brother needed an identical version of himself. My brother's dead. 
I'm sorry, I'm... I'm just not up for this. If not for us, Tim, then do it for Shakira. Look into her eyes and tell me you don't want this bitch to live in a world that knows the truth. I'll do it. Alfred, my driving gloves. Gonna have to borrow yours, Jenny. Jenny? Jenny? Jenny! Do you think it's safe for you to drive? Uh, buckle up your painted ham. I've driven bigger rigs than this. God help us. <laughs> best friends snuck into the circus and saw the clowns. After that, all we wanted to do was be like them. <laughs> we even formed a troupe. The super friends. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> what did you do? I misread the label. I thought I was dousing them in laughter fluid! <laughs> I couldn't handle what I'd done. So I created someone who could. I called her... Fanzo. If I take this off, I don't know who I'll be. Who were you before? G... G... Janet. My name was Janet. Oh. Well, then you'll be Janet. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, you'll be Janet. Yeah, Janet, yeah. Well, I guess I'll be Ken. Ken. And I'll be Jean-Luc. Really? Jean-Luc? Yeah. What's your name? Jean-Luc. <laughs> Why would I say it if I... Well, it's no problem if it is. Yeah. Just Jean-Luc, really? Yeah. Come on. All right, Dean. Dean. Oh, yeah. My actual okay. name is... is mm -hmm. Dean. OK. That's more believable, yeah. yeah. Blouse, unisex, or... Hello, my name is Janet, and I'd like one plate of meat, please. Hello, I'm Ken, and I'm interested in purchasing a second-hand microwave. I'm Janet, your new neighbour. I just moved in beneath your house. Hello, I have a voucher for a couple's massage, and my name is Dean. No, it's just me. Can I go twice? Hey, my name's Ken, and I'm your mum's new boyfriend. Et voila. Wow, it's bigger than I thought. But you never had a woman tell you that before. Well, actually, my prostate doctor is female, so... <laughs> Dr. Susan Wang. Welcome to my humble home. <laughs> Lovely. Did you? Let's get back to the car. Don't worry. I speak child. 
So which one of you little scamps is the leader, then? What's it to you, Grandad? <laughs> Him? <laughs> Looks like a bedwetter to me. You wouldn't all follow a bedwetter, would you? Not a bedwetter. Sorry, I can't hear you over the overwhelming stench of piss. <laughs> <laughs> So, which of the rest of you think that you could help run Alfonso Land, hmm? Too scrawny, too ginger, a girl. Oh, well, I suppose the leader has to be me. Ignore your parents. Forget about the grown-ups. No rules, no homework, no bedtime. Welcome to Alfonso Land. How's this for camera ready, Mum? Who's not going to mount anything now? You dead bitch. Oh, there you are, miss. Need you in set in five. What is this? <laughs> okay, listen up, guys. We need to be ready to shoot in five. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. First up, car count. Jennifer, it's not the outfit I picked out for you. A spangly leotard didn't really seem appropriate for breaking the biggest news story in the world. It is, however, the perfect attire for the glamorous assistant to the only clown on television. What? This weekend was to be my big comeback. I see no reason why that should change, just because the world as we know it has. Didn't you listen to Tim from Romance? This is urgent. We have to tell the world. Jennifer. We've been handed a golden opportunity here. So we have the biggest broadcasting facility in the country, and we're going to use it to put out a clown show. Finally, we're on the same page. Oh, this is stupid. OK, kids, uh, I have an important message to get out to the world. Uh, turn the camera over here. <gasps> we're trying to tiger cage. Have you lost your mind? We're in the middle of a global calamity. This is Y2K, Times 2K, and I'm the only one who knows what's going on. You have to let me tell people. <laughs> no, 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 you can't do this. This is my big story. My mother doesn't get to win again. How is she still winning? We put her in the ground. There's still a way out of this, Jennifer. Just be my Debbie McGee. Oh. What in God's name are you trying to achieve here? the only game in town, Jennifer. I was cancelled once before. I lost my TV show, my celebrity friends, my regular table at Street Fellows. Well, I'll not let them do it to me again. I'm gonna create an army. Loyal fans who will fight to keep me on the air with their dying breaths. And I will be revenged on everyone that betrayed me! Alfonso! 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 Oh, look! They're calling my name. Alfonso! 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 Bye bye, bye bye. Him go. He is with Satan now. <laughs> I feel like I fall out of the ground with that. 
You have. You were snoring. It was the only way to shut you up. <laughs> oh, I need a bloody drink. Well, Ken, it seems to me we have two options. Either we drink our own piece or we drink each other's. So this is a sex thing. No. We just haven't... Actually, let's go with sex thing. Mildly less embarrassing. We're just to be clowns, but my name's Janet now, and I'm a person. Well, as it happens, I'm on the trail of a clown. I don't suppose you've heard of the great Alfonso? <laughs> that hack. Nope, never heard of him. Wasn't a fan. And he killed my dog. <laughs> stole my life's work. Him and his clueless journalist friend. What? Now she's broadcasting a clown show on his big top with my transmitter. Took everything from me. I swear to God, when I find it, what's that smell? It's nothing. It doesn't make sense. Jenny hates clowns. Unless she's on drugs. Alfonso must have taken her hostage and given her drugs. Jesus Christ, not this again. No, 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 fuck it. I know where they are. Bobo couldn't save the woman he loves. But maybe Ken can. I'm coming with you. Then we're coming too. Fine, I'm not sure we're oh, going to go on. Let's ride. <laughs> as a symbolic gesture, which, in retrospect, was entirely unnecessary. We can't save Jenny in our pants. We're gonna have to steal some clothes, or we'll look ridiculous. It's Jenny. Right, I'm gonna need you guys to create a diversion, okay? I've got this flare. Get away from children. Why does everyone keep saying this to me? Okay, what's the plan? Okay, I'm gonna commando roll across that field, crawl for a bit, park all my way over the fence, and take out the first kid with one of these. And I'll say, tough break. The second kid will come at me from behind, and I'll give him one of these. And I'll say, um, I won't say anything there, I'll keep it stealthy. So at that point, it's just those two kids standing between me and the happily ever after. So I'll jump up, grab the door frame, and give them a double kick. I'll say, two's company, or twice to meet you. Everyone got it? Yeah. Oh, by the way, if I don't make it out of there, tell the world I died with dignity. You want us to lie? Well, no. I was wearing trousers. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Hey, Ken! What's a diversion? <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like you've made some new friends, Tim. We're here for the girl. Let the girl go and no harm will come to you. She's just a girl. I'm 35, you dick. I kept your secret, Alfonso. You didn't have to kill my dog. What secret? I'm sorry about your dog, by the way, but I, I, I do want to get clarity, though, on that secret. The gunge tank. It was the after party of series three of Alfonso's fun club. It wasn't an accident. I saw him do it. My brother was taking the piss out of the show. He was making jokes about it. He called it a Foxo's Bum Club. <laughs> so Alfonso drowned him in gunge. And he threatened to do the same to me if I ever told anyone. Well, sadly for you, Tim, it looks like you just have. Big with a ginger twat! Throw the others in with Jennifer! Tim here is about to experience pie. 
to the power of infinity. Oh, Jenny. I saw that I'd find you. It's true, he wouldn't shut off the bedroom. And now we can be together. We can start a new life. In this cage, if needs be. Bobo, what are you talking about? That's the thing, I'm not Bobo anymore. I'm Ken. Ken. Ken, she knows. Just normal, dependable Ken. Ken. Okay. Type of bloke that wears brown size nine shoes. Who owns a shed. Sort of bloke you could get to know over a tepid cup of bovril. Type of guy you could settle down with. As I say, in this cage, if needs be. But where have you guys been? On a long journey to the center of ourselves. My name is Dean, and I'm not a clown either. In a funny way, I don't suppose I ever really was. And I'm Did Janet, I... and my thing is when I was six, I set my friends on fire. I poured. <laughs> oh, no need. Oh, mother of God. Show's about to start. Listen. That 200 pound slab of lunch meat is trying to amass an army of children. We need to disable that transmitter and get him off the air. Hello, boys and girls! I am back on the TV where I belong. And tonight, for a special treat, I have an old celebrity friend, Tim from Provence! <laughs> We're ready! No, 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 no! Annalisa, for the main event. Go on, Jim! Go on, Jim! Go on, Jim! And go we're gonna Jim. have more celebrity people come on this show all the time with your help. I want you to bring some of those friends of mine who I haven't seen since I was on TV. If you bring them to me, you get a big reward, yes? So come to Alfonso land. No homework, no rules, no bedtime. And anybody who tries to stop us will get dodged. Anyone. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's going to go into souls of death. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're next. Oh, God. This is all your fault, Bobo. I wish I'd never met you. I could be off breaking the biggest story in the world with an unbelievably hot burger van guy now, instead of being stuck in a cage with a bunch of clowns waiting to be murdered by feral children. It's actually ex-clowns, yeah. but I'll shut up. Why me, Bobo? Out of all the women in the world you could have chosen to obsess over, why did you land on me? Because you were the first person in 15 years made me feel good about myself. Made me feel more than just a fat clown at a children's party. That was important. That I was someone who deserved to be loved. Because I threw you a drunk fuck in a cupboard. It was, long, it was long enough to know. I love you. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that's bleak. Oh. Oh, that's so fucking bleak. God, OK, yeah. No, uh, Alfonso! Alfonso! Yes, I'm in. I give up. Fresh. They're close. 
Zeus. I think you mean Rograts. They're terrifying. One of them smokes a pipe. Alfonso was wrong, you know. About the juggernaut. It doesn't need clowns who are willing to die for one another. It just needs clowns who have nothing to live for. What? Well, think about it. These kids like violence. They like danger. They like watching people hurt themselves. <sighs> If we can pull off a trick like that, we might be able to distract them long enough to do one last decent thing with our lives and take that prick, Alfonso, off the air. Everyone dreams of dying, doing what they love. <gasps> but since that's not an option for us, Say we go out clowning. Oi, bedwetter, gather your men. I've got something to show you. What is it? It's a clown show. We've just seen one. Not like this. I knew you'd come round eventually, Jennifer. Now, yeah, for a moment there, you nearly chose the wrong team. <laughs> it's a brave new world, Jennifer. It's ours for the taking. Me, as warlord slash global clown emperor, and you beside me as my bikini-clad assistant. Oh, thank you, Shakira. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, thank good. Have you got anything to drink? Denny, the Womble shit on Wimbledon Common, hmm? Drinks cabinet's over there. Great. I will make us a vodka and scotch. Ah, a kilted Russian. How very agreeable. And these are my friends, Pepe and Bunzo. Uh, who likes uh, balloons? I do. Oh! <laughs> ah, this was a mistake. <laughs> what was that? Oh, nothing. You, you know what kids are like when they're drunk on power. A toast to good friends. <laughs> ah, Jenny, good. I hate for you to embarrass yourself in front of the Rotary Club Toastmaster General, 1992, 1993, and 1995. I'd better do this. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, Princess Michael of Kent, an occasion such as this always calls for one of the greatest and indeed longest poems of the last six centuries. <clears throat> Okay, screw the crowd work. Skip to the big finish. Boys and girls, I present to you the Juggernaut! Pepe, hop! I can't. I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I never have been. I'll never be a Dukoxman. I don't need you to be a Dukoxman. I don't care what some dusty French wank merchant thought of you. I just need you to climb onto my fat shoulders and be paralyzed with fear, please. Okay. I can do that. Fonzo! Huh? I don't want to be Fonzo. I don't want to scare anyone. 
Hans, Janet, it doesn't matter what you call yourself. Being scary is who you are. You were born to do this. And I'll be honest with you, some of these kids could do with a diesel fucking scare. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. She was a weep. Wait. The children enjoying themselves? That's impossible. I'm still here. Let's have your drink first. Look, I like to drink with Alfonso. Alfonso is my mate. And when I drink with Alfonso, he gets it down and out. Jesus Christ! Oh, great prophet! Show down! your turn. Just want Bonzo. Give her over now and I promise you all a quick and painless death. Too late. He's already killed her. Yeah, li li just a few minutes ago, you couldn't have been closer. What? Well, that is an anticlimax. I, I mean, we traveled all this way, fueled by revenge. You're gonna have to give us a minute. I need you to be more solution oriented now rather than focusing on the problems of air. It's like a tiny motorbike. No, no, no. I hate my women, even my women. I've got you. Okay, yeah, go. Great, great, great. Let's explain that to them then. Okay, so we've noticed that you've got a gunge pit. And um, we've always wanted to try one of those, so. I think we're just going to murder you all with that. Tie their hands. Why? No, we need to be stopping. Stop it. 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 Stop it.
Should probably help. No. Okay. Bobo, it's in the blood. Going on in five, four, three. Are you going to do it wearing that? Oh shit! Good evening. <laughs> I'm Jenny Malone, reporting the truth to the world. I realize we've all been through a lot, but what I'm about to tell you should explain how we got here and how we are going to survive this together. 1967, the CIA, in conjunction with the teenage Hillary Clinton, began a series of experiments on the sun. And two days ago, under the instruction of a sinister cabal of shape-shifting, pedophilic lizard people, they unleashed a secret weapon on the world. Operation Solar Flare. I've been saying it for... Yes. A plan to enslave humanity, harvest our DNA, and sell it to the Chinese chemtrail industry. Over the next three to four hours, I will show you irrefutable evidence of John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. What are you doing? What's going on, Mem? <clears throat> is, it, is, is it over? Everything's turning back home. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and although Oris Anukteron was completely obliterated, the president was eventually carried to safety by Brazilian burger technician Gustavo Musculos. Elsewhere, chaotic scenes played out across the nation with a series of localized electrical blackouts, believed to have been caused by a massive power surge at a recent concert by country singer Garth Brooks. May he rest in peace. Then there was this bizarre broadcast by the daughter of celebrated news correspondent Deborah Malone two days ago under the instruction of a sinister cabal of shape-shifting <laughs> pedophilic lizard people. I think we can all agree her late mother would be massively disappointed. Next up, clown funerals. They're like buses, aren't they? You wait ages for one, and then two come along all at once. 90s has been clown. The late Alfonso has popped his giant clogs and is in a tiny little car on his way to heaven right now. Thanks for helping us out, Jenny. Yes, thank you so much for letting us bury de Kock in your mother's grave. Don't mention it. She hated clowns and the French. <laughs> first hooked up at your niece's birthday. Did you ever imagine we'd end up here? No. No, of course not. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh, what the fuck 
are you doing? I just thought we'd been on this journey. I vanquished the other male. Did I read the moment wrong? We are secretly burying a rotting clown corpse in my mother's grave. What is it about this moment that you think is sexy? The sun? It's not all. It's kind of sexy. It's like a big red clown nose in the sky. Goodbye, Bobo. Forever this time. Yeah, but what? No, forever! Well! What now? I hear there's a prime spot going on the main strip. You could get your Dukak out on the street! <sighs> Do you know? I used to blame Alfonso for my lack of success. But now that he's gone, I can't see anything getting in my way. Let's do it. <laughs> well, it looks like we're going to need some business cards. We need a name first. We have a name. We are not calling ourselves that. It's too late. <laughs> Où sont les bouffes?